Alright, this is uh, your boy du Juggernaut again with another quick video. Um, here's a little strategy I use to uh, collect resources uh, in your estate. Okay, so if you look at number one, it says during the event, kill beasts, rally red guard camps, and gather resources to earn beer that you can exchange for great rewards, right? So um, you can collect them here in your estate. And you can collect them often if you do it right. I mean, I collect them quite often, okay? Boom. All right. So I'm going to try to cover everything here in one video. And if I forget something, again, drop them in the comments below. Okay, so let's, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so for your sword, um, for free-to-play players or low spenders, this is your best bet. Um, okay, so for the sword, all right, and then your ring down here, if you look at this, again, you can get better ones if you want to spend, you know, that's entirely up to you. Uh, let's go to our talent points, Just move that down, talent points, okay. So you go into your economy tab, right, and you look at these production. Now, if you're higher level, you shouldn't need a whole lot of food production um, when uh, when you get your estate set up properly you only need two farms in your estate and two lumber mills in your estate and then you max out uh, hospitals and camps and then you build whatever uh, iron mines and silver mines that you can okay so let's go through this here as you scroll down here a little bit you know you got iron production there right and you keep going um, this is the best one right silver production yum right um, if you go all the way down here to the end okay you don't need to go quite this far they've got iron production and then silver production right you don't need to go down to all these if for this strategy right and just do what you can with what you got all right, a lot of people say, oh, I can't go that far. Well, you know, it, eventually you will, you know, hitting the wolf and and getting them, getting the uh, experience from beasts and I'll cover that again in another video. Um, all right, so let's go down to my guards, right? Okay, so again, depending on what you have in your estate, your level, right? If you've got your estate set up properly, this guy's gonna be your best bet. He's got silver production, 50%, for, you know, um, and iron production, right? Silver and iron. Um, if you're a little bit lower level, go down to this guy, and then our girl here, okay? And then we got uh, Constance, right? She, she does all kinds of good stuff. I've covered it in my other videos, but she's got the resource production here at 20%, right? And then this guy, the blue guard, a little bit easier to get, and his resource production maxes out at 14%. Okay? Um, let's see, next we have VIP, right? I really should be at 10 or higher. I've just been focusing on a lot of other stuff. This is my next push after I hit C35 and oh well, I've already hit C35 but once I get my troop buildings done all right so let's look at VIP we're not gonna go over everything today we're just gonna go over the resource production right let's go down here a little bit there we go resource production at VIP 9 is 20 percent 10 is 25 let's go down all right you know and it and you just gotta scroll through here right it's 18 at 8 Eight is really, really where you want to get up to as fast as possible. Uh, there's a lot of benefits. The quick switch for your equipment. All right, so, you know, and here's the uh, VIP 12. This is uh, my main goal. I mean, it only goes up to 25%, but there's the quick switch talents once you hit VIP 12, right? Uh, so you stop receiving benefits for the resource production at VIP. 
P10, I believe. That's about as high as it goes once you hit VIP 10. Okay? Let me scroll down here just a little bit. That's resource storage. Production, yeah. Once you hit 10, it maxes out 25. So unless they come up with a VIP 15 or whatever in the future, who knows what the DOG is going to do or KOA is going to do. Okay? Uh, let's see what else we got. Yes. All right. So you can also go into your resource mines, you know, the silver or whatever, and on the t very left there, if you've got them, you can get them from events and, um, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do two of each. I've already done them for the dailies, but so you'll do two silver, two iron, two wood, two food, right? It helps you get your dailies done faster too, okay? Uh, you can get some of these in the Astrologer, right? They've got, uh, when you spin this thing, I'll go ahead and spin it a couple times just for the sake of the video, right? I've already done my dailies. Come on, give me the, how many times am I meant to do this, right? Okay, so, all right, shoot. Eventually, it's going to pop up. All right, so there's a little uh, game, I guess you want to call it. It's a RNG game, really, is what it is. Ah, this here. They don't have it here, but you get the... Um, you get a lot of little goodies here, so you can just uh, go to start, you know, get the free one, and then give up, and then go again. I wouldn't try to farm them out of here. You get them by luck, you know. Um, another place you can get them is in our current event, right? You can get them here. Scroll down. These things come in handy, you know, for dailies. And I, I generally only use them when collecting resources in your state gains you another benefit, right? Or if I really need to finish my dailies fast so I can get those shooting gallery coins, right? Over here on the far right. I'll eventually get a cursor on my phone or get a new phone so I can just get, you know, a cursor. Uh, I'm using a Chinese uh, Chinese phone, so getting some of the applications, they just don't work as well with uh, as something like Samsung or one of the commonly used phones. All right, so I think I've pretty much covered everything, right? You know, there's a, the resource production. Um, you don't want to keep collecting this over and over again, right? You want to give it some time. And the higher you have your percentage up, like resource production percentage, the more often you can gather it. All right, so. All right, so we got our castle info. There's, let's see here. Estate stats. All right. Total production bonus, okay? You look at that right there. So you can find out what your production bonus is right now. Mine is at 33,679 per hour. My basic production is 8,445, right? You can also really go into your research, uh, economy, right? This is something you should really be hitting hard in the beginning. Uh, you know, in some of these, you got to be a certain level. Let's find one. Um, I can't remember what the levels are, but, you know, the more you level up your castle, the further you can go down all of these, right, all, uh, for research. Right now, I'm just trying to get to the very end um, so that I can slowly start uh, getting this production up so I don't have to keep switching my guards and and the weapons, right? So, you know, the only reason I post this video is a really good friend of mine uh, said that he wasn't he wasn't getting any uh, beers. Some there has been known to be a glitch or two where you're just not collecting them in your estate or you're not collecting them from tiles. Um, I haven't uh, heard about this happening during this event, but it has been a problem in previous events. Anyways, this video is long enough. If you have any comments, questions,
questions, suggestions, again, please put them in the comments, uh, comment section below. I really like hearing from you guys, you know, especially when you, uh, when you notice that I forgot something or, hey, can you make a video on this? But the most helpful thing you can do is to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because I'm going to try to do up-to-date videos on events or, you know, GOG news. So, this is your boy Juggernaut, King of 440, working with my boy Khabib in 171. Peace.